Hello, America. Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for people. A moment ago, I was preparing this post for you and I had to stop. Got one of these old conditions where I got this hernia bulging out. So I had to go stop and try to put it in place and come back here and finish this message that I have for you. But the reason that I mention it to you is because it is a reference to the fact that the Healthcare system, the shortage, the failure of it, the inadequacy of the healthcare system to deal with the citizens of this nation. And I've spoken on that subject many times before. Today I want to talk on the subject matter, the Jesus insurance. I want you to, I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that there, according to what I have been given, there's one authority. And that authority is the creator. That authority is God. All other supposedly authority is fake. So all human power is fake and is built on force and corruption. Now, the central uh, center of world corruption in government would be referred to in scripture as the Tower of Babel. Well, we know the Tower of Babel fell and that Government spread all over the earth where the humans populate. Now, many Bible scholars follow the adage that uh, human survival from this corruption, and that's all of us, is accepting the fact that Jesus died for our sins. That our sins are eliminated by grace, not by what we do or what we say. It is by accepting that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, came here, lived on this earth, died on that cross to deliver us, to save us from ourselves. That is, according to the scripture, what we must believe if we are to be saved, according to scripture. Now, for me, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to you that people will believe anything. They even believe Santa Claus. And they perpetuate that story since it started. And you better not stop trying to, you better not try to interfere with it. You get cursed out or cussed out. But I also want to mention to you, ladies and gentlemen, that in 2022, the government of the United States of America, part of its forces, called themselves conservatives. And then a part of that is called the mega conservative, the far right wing. And they were talking about if they could get power, whether they were voted in power, whether they could steal that power, whatever way they could get that power, they would make sure that they would rewrite history, the American history. They would not include the slavery part. They would not include the idea that white supremacy is the, only, the main thing behind slavery. So I want you to know, and I'm sure you will agree, that people will accept this lie the same as they accepted the discovery lie of America. But for me, I choose truth. I accept truth. I don't accept the entirety of the scriptures as truth. I accept what the Spirit shares with me as truth. You see, Jesus, a man that comes to this earth, not bringing what isn't needed at that time, such as electric lights, not bringing what was not needed at that time, automobiles, or information about computers, but rather truth that God is righteousness, that God is love, and that God is the provider of the human purpose. The lies and corruption of humans were challenged by truth according to Jesus' life. And it brought peace. It was about peace. It was about happiness. It was about the fulfillment of dreams and the like. Now, having accepted that, humans are to reflect the truth of God that they know. Not what they don't know, the truth of God that they know. Limited as it may be, to be made plain 
in its proper time. Now with this truth, the lies and deception are to be rejected at all costs. All that God provides for humans is to be rejected, if not representative of righteousness and love. Jesus, his living and dying on the cross, is the fate of all righteousness over evil corruption. For me, God showed me love in the form of a miracle, eliminating any doubt about God. To accept this truth is to demote evil governments and to reject them. I was called out and sent throughout this country and even visiting others to observe the absence of the truth that was shown to me and to put the truth given to me on the table and for me to follow. Jesus, as all born again individuals will do, men such as Dr. King, Malcolm X, Mega Evers, and many others unknown. Now, just let me connect that. Our duty, responsibility, our evidence of our understanding of God, truth, love, and life is for us to walk according to those dictates that will lead you to the cross. As evidenced by Gandhi, as evidenced by Dr. King and Malcolm X and so many others that are unknown. Those that know the truth lives according to the truth. They love the love that they were shown is the love they give to others were it absent, willing to die for truth, righteousness, love, God, and one another. Can you imagine believing that someone died on the cross for you and saved you and you can live in the midst of hell and it doesn't bother you? Everything else is blindness. So all human power, listen to me again, is corruption. I don't care what it is. If it does not produce what God's power is designed for humankind, it is corrupted. And it is bought with money. Yes, my friends, it is bought with money. And it is maintained with force. That's what policemen and guns and bombs, that's what all of these things for, to force people. And it captures all that are not under the spirit of the Jesus insurance. Or should I say, that is not under the spirit of, yeah, Jesus insurance. The world is under Satan's rule. It is obliged by the people. Not knowing truth, they will accept any, anything. So what is being said here today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not asking anybody to discount the Bible, to discount the scriptures, to discount God. I'm not asking anybody to do any of that. What I'm sharing with you is what has been shared with me by the Spirit. And that is that there's one power, God. And that's power of love and all that it represents. And that any other power outside of that will not give you love. It'll give you hell. And that is the power that runs the world today. And it runs the world today because people do not know the truth. The people that know the truth live by the truth. And as they stand up and recognize as truthers, they die because they're killed by the evilness of this world. I say all of that to say this, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter whether you got the guys in Washington today who plan on uh, investigating the people that were investigated them. It doesn't matter. All of that is just evil. All of that is just corruption. All of that is just jive. 
All of that is just evil. All of that is just Satan and Republicans and Democrats and everybody else in between will accept one part of that or another. None of them will agree. So they will choose their part. But the truth is that every bit of it is wrong. It does not provide for humankind peace and prosperity and freedom and happiness and joy in their dreams being fulfilled at their leisure. It does not honor the fact that God is responsible for our being here and that God has provided for all of our needs to be met. From the beginning of time when we were using what? Stone wheel to the times now when you use jet planes, etc. All of this, my friends, comes by the love of God, but to be enjoyed by understanding and receiving the spirit of God, not having it hijacked as it has been. So not only in Russia, not only in North Korea, not only in China, not only in the Philippines, not only in Europe and America, it's all over the globe, people. Some of them think they're doing, uh, for instance, you guys, you can have uh, health care in Germany. Does that make Germany better than America? No. Why? Because it's all part of the game. All part of the game. What does that mean? Pain, suffering, poverty, crime, violence, and all of these kinds of things like hatred and racism and bigotry will continue to exist. And as long as it exists, it is robbing the people. And it exists because the people are permitted to exist. They permitted to exist because they do not know better. And not knowing better, you'll follow the devil straight to hell. So this message is just for something you to think about. Ladies and gentlemen, I call it the Jesus insurance. Will it save you? Or will the spirit of that which Jesus had? That is what I offer to you. But you choose what you can. Until next, this is Eddie Marcus saying goodbye for now.